Good afternoon. It's Monday the 20th of February. It's our third day here. Um, we haven't really been up to too much today because Sally has to work on the weekdays. We did, however, go get some lunch. Nothing too exciting, just food. And then we went to a cafe on Sally's lunch break that was actually really good. The cafe we went to was called Melange. Melange. Melange, sorry, Espresso Bar. Um, I saw it when we were going for a walk one time and it looked kind of cool. And it actually was kind of cool. We went in and we just ordered like a black coffee each and the owner guy was really cool and he gave us a second coffee that like he his signature coffee or something he said it was and he said you have to try it so we had double the amount of caffeine that we needed so I'm feeling kind of funny right now because I've had three coffees today which is way too much for me so I feel a little bit shaky and that so I want to go outside for a walk and walk off this caffeine. It's been a while since I've been able to wear these boots. I don't get much opportunity to wear them in Australia. It's very, very cold outside. It's like zero right now. So we're very rugged up and I have thermals on. People are staring at us. We're going shopping. We're going shopping right now. People were staring at us vlogging going into a supermarket. <laughs> I can't turn the camera off because of my gloves. <laughs> it's gonna be funny footage. We're back in the shop. We've got some cooked black rice. Glutinous rice porridge with chestnut and red beans. Sweet pumpkin porridge, egg and vegetable rice porridge, and a mild chicken breast. That was all seventeen thousand one hundred won, which is like nineteen dollars. Okay, we're back out on this street. I don't know what it's called, but it's the street we always end up going down because there's all the stuff is here. Um, I forget what we're looking for exactly. Yeah. Snack, food, dinner, um, and anything that Sally wants to get. The life of sweet and sour chicken. I'm a sucker for good packaging. I kind of want this one. Better skin, better round. As an unrelated note, or maybe related note, I, I'm too scared to go back into Olive Young's after my incident that I had yesterday when I was trying to push one of the sample things and it squirted everywhere all over me and all over the floor and I ran out. We've now officially gone further than we have ever gone down this street. So everything from here is a new experience for us. It got really quiet down this end all of a sudden. Everything sort of ran out and now it's like little bars and stuff. Yep, that's us all right. I really thought that this was a chicken vending machine, but I think they're just cooking the chicken outside the restaurant. We actually wanted to try this Vietnamese place, but it seems very, very closed. So maybe another time. Quickly, the bells are tolling. I don't know what's coming for us. She can't do her jacket up. I did. These bells are kind of creepy though. This is a cool little laneway with a pig sign in it. I'm not exactly sure where we got to, but it's kind of weird down here. But there is a place called Pizzotto. Maybe they do risotto. No, they do pizza, pasta, and burrito. Okay, that was a weird interaction, but we're told by the waitress that when the soup comes, we have to film it. She pointed at her camera and was like, you must film it. And there is the soup that we must film. 
We've got these tiny chilies as a side. Just take a small bite. Well, that was dinner. It was reasonable, pretty cheap, pretty good. The place was really busy, so it had to be good. Um, and now we might just go back to the hotel because I'm freezing. Also, we have to watch The Last of Us. Oh, yeah. There's this fun little fruit place right near our hotel and we keep walking by and wanting to get stuff because it's just sitting out here and I might get some peanuts plus this is adding a really cool effect we're right, out and about oh my god motorbike <laughs> we're out and about again in another day oh we're here and we're going out to find some food for lunch probably can't hear anything because the motorbike behind me in case you didn't hear a single thing I said because of the motorbike, we're here trying to find some food to stock up our fridge for lunch. We're gonna get like a bunch of panjans and just have that with some rice and stuff. I just realized I've been filming on camera mode. Is that okay? That's bad. That's fine. Okay. Okay, that ends our adventure down this fun market alleyway full of foods and that. Pick up a few things I think we can eat, but we'll show you when we get back to the hotel. And we're back at the hotel room. This is everything that we got. I'm hoping that it's all gluten free because that's what the owner said, but you know, it's Korea and food allergies don't exist. So we'll just hope and see. So we got, uh, what's this? Lotus root in mayonnaise and sesame and looks like peanuts or something coating them. And then we got spinach cooked in sesame oil. We got potatoes and ham. That might have gluten, so maybe we'll just pick those out. And then we got bean sprouts. I th worry that this might be cooked with some soy sauce in there, so I'll try a bit first and see what happens. And then we got rice cakes. This was being made right in front of us and this is warm like it's hot my worry is that i hope that they used rice flour like pure rice flour because you can get blends and i asked the lady and she said it's rice like i know it's rice but is it a hundred percent rice <laughs> I guess this vlog is just going to be a shopping vlog because we are once again shopping tonight. This time we have gone to a latte department store that was near us. I like shopping. This place is like nine floors, maybe more. I think it's like 11 and I guess it's just like a Maya or something. They have like an MLB and an MBA store thing in here is really interesting although that's not the MLB logo but that's got to be legit this is the store that Sally really wanted to check out the National Geographic brand see lots of people wearing National Geographic stuff here can you only get it here or something I think this is popular oh, this is very popular I feel like the branding's really ugly on it though like big patch on it. I don't like it that much. This is some really fun shopping music. I've never actually seen a Kodak store as in one that sells clothes. It's the same thing as the camera, right? It's the same brand here. They sell clothes. They also have a PGA and LPGA store. This whole floor is called Kids Golf and Baby. So far this department store is a lot more fun than any department store I've been to back home. We are now down in the food hall. It's got like groceries and some sort of like food court situation going on. There is a 
curry place, a uh, katsu place, other types of food, sushi. Just standing here at a menu of a place that just does Korean food. That is a giant menu. Somebody's hungry. All right, took a while, but our food is here. It looks all right. Like for food court food, I would say it looks pretty good. Get some kimchi, some beans, some more kimchi. Our next stop is E-Mart on our shopping tour. And this is E-Mart. Some sort of large grocery store. This place is huge. So many coffees. Electronics on level five. Oh, they sell electronics here too. They sell everything at E-Mart. Oh. Restaurants downstairs. This is the joys Emma. of trying to find what's in a product in Korea. This product contains and then lists everything and then it goes manufactured in the same manufacturing facility. Is this like knockoff Fanta? It has a very similar logo. That's Fanta. That's Tans. And this whole row and the one over the other side of it is just dedicated to instant ramens. <laughs> Look at that giant Picari sweat. These potato chips are like one of my favorites. I will not get them tonight though. I will behave. Thankfully, they have a self checkout here. So that was E Mart. That's my first time in one. That is my favorite place in the world. And be ready for a full vlog on that one day because I love that place. Just getting ready for my favorite sound. Do you know they're changing this for the first time in 14 years? <laughs> Okay, we are back from E-Mart. We didn't get a lot because this was just more of a scouting trip to see what they had, but we did pick up a few things. Um, we got a few of these like microwave, I guess they're congees, like rice porridge congee, um, black bean, sesame, sweet red bean porridge, and a pumpkin one. Um, Sally got icebreakers. She loves icebreakers. Uh, we got some instant coffee. I'm not sure why we got instant coffee. I think Sally just wanted some for here because I don't think the hotel, they have coffee bags or something and we're spending a lot of money on coffee at the moment because um, we're having like two a day when we go out. So if we can cut one back, that'd be good. And we also got some oh i'm gonna look like an idiot <laughs> i was trying to focus on the samjang by doing this tapping it instead of tapping the camera screen <laughs> it doesn't work like that anyway we got samjang which is like a spicy paste thingy i got this one in particular because it is gluten free um, Samjung is made from gochujang and tenjong, which traditionally wouldn't normally contain wheat. Um, they use like normally use like a rice flour, like old traditional style. But most modern ones are made with wheat because it's just cheaper, which you know absolutely sucks for me. But here they have lots of different types, and I can actually find some that don't have wheat, which is really nice. So I might have to pick up a few more. 
I've just been informed that Sally got the instant coffee because the cafes don't open early enough. She has to start work at 7 a.m. and most cafes don't open till 10 a.m. which is very strange coming from Australia. But anyway, that is the end of our shopping vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it and we will see you in the next one.